I didn't want more takes, I wanted less. <laughs> Move. Throughout the Extraction franchise, all the characters endure just an incredible amount of physical pain. How do you calibrate or map out the levels of pain in your portrayal throughout the film? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a collaboration, you know, instead of saying, okay, this, you've been shot here and stabbed here and this, and okay, you might need to have a limp now going forward. And, and trying to track that is quite complicated. There's the times when it's like, you know, I'm doing something, it's like, oh, that's right, I got shot in that hand. I probably wouldn't be able to do that as easy. But then you're like, but I have to pull the trigger and do the gun. Am I going to do it left-handed or switch? And so there's a little bit of sort of the creative license there to, to just kind of muscle through the pain. But I think an audience are empathizing with the struggle. There's a grit and an authenticity to it that when it's too clean and polished and they're not suffering, then the audience don't feel like the character's in jeopardy. So they're not worried either. And so, it's, yeah. We had people that like come from the military. Like I remember like, how is it to be shot? He was explaining the process, you know? He was saying you don't move much. You it's don't just move a very much, like, subtle like, movements. But you ask them, you know, like try to be realistic as much to offer the audience a good experience. Also you preserve your body. Like I remember on the train where they were pushing me towards the wall and I was getting like my bruise here was getting bigger and bigger because I had to change three times. I could see that this bruise. So every time they push you, you have to give another place of your back. It's like skiv, you know, you're just Docking. You cannot get bruised at the same place constantly for 50 takes. Extraction 2 features a 20 plus minute long one take action sequence. Sam, was it always going to be that long? The exact time wasn't um, necessarily of, of importance. Uh, it, 21 minutes and 7 seconds, but who's counting? What we then had to do was curate the ideas and say, all right, so long as we keep the storyline, the through line of the action set pieces and then the, the emotional beats, how we arrive there, like whether he's using a knife or a gun or a pipe or you know a shovel, however he gets there, what's the most creative way that's going to hopefully subvert expectations of the audience but deliver on the promise of crazy action. Three, two, one, fire! I think coming to this project, we knew that we have to like prepare physically, but then there was something more to that and we need to be prepared mentally to do takes for 30, 40, 50 times, physical takes, and you wouldn't go completely mad when they say, okay, take 38, and you run for 350 meters for 38 times, 40, and you don't know when are they gonna finish. That is something that was in the heart of Extraction 2. When I landed in there, I knew that you're like a soldier, you're like a monk, and you need to sit under this ice waterfall and just take it. At the end of these six months in Prague, we were all a little bit going crazy. During that sequence, you know, it's a bit crazy making at times. You know, you're doing take 30, take 40. Are there any sections of it or parts of it where you wish you still had one more take? No, I was, I, I wish we, I was, wish Sam would call the cut <laughs> and we could move on. I mean, by take like, especially in the one up where these sequences are a couple of minutes long, it's, it's just, it's like doing sprints, but for 14 hours. And literally. literally. <laughs> and by the end of the take, I was just like, you know, drop to my knees and be like, oh, did we get it, Sam? He's like, no, nah, there's this one little thing I want to change. I was like, <laughs> okay, let's go again. And then, uh, so I didn't want more takes, I wanted less. 